Sometimes we visit places on the show and people are scratching their heads like, what the heck is up there? Well, Errol, New Hampshire is one of those places where we are today. And I'm here to tell you there is fun to be had in this beautiful wilderness they call the Great North Woods. I meet up with Chad from Berlin City at a local and family owned outdoor retailer that has everything we could possibly need for our day ahead. With 30,000 feet of retail space, we may be shopping here for a while. And off for our first adventure, quality time on the river fly fishing with a local guide who shows us why it's some of the best fly fishing in New England. And since we're already wet, let's just immerse ourselves fully as we whitewater raft along a section of the Androscoggin River. Another family owned operation who knows how to offer fun and safe experiences for the whole family. And last but definitely not least, a restored farmhouse that was originally built by one of the founding families of Errol. Beautiful rooms are available to rent and something extra unique on this property you don't see everywhere, bison. So Chad's waiting for me at LL Cody. I'm gonna head over there. We're gonna gear up and get ready for our day ahead. But before I make my way to Errol, I had to stop here at Berlin City and charge up my Mustang electric vehicle. This was my first long trip. I made it from Concord to Berlin, which is about two hours. And I knew that Berlin City had a bunch of chargers. So I juiced up here, came to say hi to my friends. And now I'm gonna head up to Errol with confidence that I have enough power in the car to make it for my day. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How was the ride up? Gorgeous. Every time I'm driving up here, I feel like I'm in a postcard and the fog coming up today off the river oh, it's beautiful. was gorgeous. Did you see the moose? No, I did not. You missed the moose. Oh. Like a real live. Real live moose. Yeah, wow. side of the road. Uh, there was a couple cars pulled over. It was that's pretty neat. A, that's got to be a good a yeah. good omen for the day. Yeah, I'm hoping so. We got a big day. Have you ever been to LL Cody? No, but I've heard about it and I'm excited to go in. Oh, they got everything yeah. here. Yep. What do they have that we need today? Well, we have a big day ahead. Fly fishing. Yep. We've got whitewater rafting. Yep. yep. I so. forgot water shoes. Yeah, me too. So they have them here. Yep. They They've have got ammo, guns, archery, hardware, clothing, <laughs> food, <laughs> gas. Oh yeah, food, food, food. Okay. We need food too. We're gonna. We have a. We have a big day. A lot of people will say, Errol, what's up there? Oh. What's up there in the North Country? There's so much to do up here. So we're going to craft the perfect itinerary and we're going to have so much fun doing it. Yep. But let's go in and get our shoes yep. and some food and some snacks. And a coffee. And a coffee. Exactly. Yeah, and a coffee. I'm Christina Cody. Welcome to LL Cody's in Errol, New Hampshire. We're home of the White Moose, as you can see behind us. We offer a little bit of everything. Uh, we find that when you're in the middle of nowhere, it's good to have a little bit of everything. So we have uh, clothing, footwear. Uh, we have a convenience store, a hardware store. We also have a hunting and fishing department. LL Cody is Louise and Luke Cody, my parents, and they started it back in 1986. That would lead to several expansions over the years, one in the 90s, and then the big expansion in 2004 and now we have a large offering of everything you need for fishing, hunting, archery. Uh, we have a large clothing and footwear offering. Our hardware store is extensive and we added a convenience store. This place has everything that you could possibly want. They say for like hunting and fishing, but there's shoes, there's food, there's clothing, there's toys. Hardware. Hardware, you were upstairs, was there, what was upstairs? Well, you had bows, you had guns, handguns, ammunition. Yeah. Uh, huge fishing display. So I am on the, the flip-flop water shoe wall because we're whitewater rafting today and I brought one croc. I forgot my other croc. Not crocs. Yeah. Not crocs, crocs. So they have a whole bunch in like a whole bunch of price ranges. So there's some water shoes and some sandals. What are those? <laughs> Like might not be best for the water, but aren't they really? Don't they look super cozy? They do. After the water, to <laughs> warm your feet water. up. I just want them. So I don't know. Do you have water shoes? I. I think you know we, what? I need to get some. Our too. feet are gonna get wet. Yep. All yep. right. Well, let's. I gotta take Chad shopping. Exactly. <laughs> Did not come prepared. There's some 
very famous uh, bodies of water that are fly fishing only. So we pride ourselves on having an extensive fly fishing offering. Um, we own Percy's Tackle, which is one of the oldest fly tying companies in Maine. And uh, we have the, the offerings from Percy Tackle in addition to everything that you need to do fly fishing in the area. I like, I like them because they have the tie in the back. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. I know, we're gonna be ready. We're we gonna sure be ready. Are. Let's go awesome. get some food. Yeah, let's eat. I'm Brad Page, President and CEO of Kenny Bunk Savings. Welcome to our bank. We embody our values, trust, integrity, proactive, and empathy, demonstrating it day in and day out for the benefit of our customers, communities, and importantly, our employees. For us, it's more than just the big check moments. Although those are great too, we give over a million dollars away each year to our communities. If this is a culture you would thrive in, think about a career with us. Check us out on social media or on our website where you can really get a sense of who we are and what we do. A promise, a purpose, and people who believe in both. That's Kenny Monk Savings. Hi, I'm John Fifield, Director of Operations for Hannaford Supermarkets here in New Hampshire. Hannaford has a long-standing tradition of serving our communities and bringing fresh, healthy foods to families throughout the Granite State. Like me, our store managers are from New Hampshire, and we shop Hannaford as well, so we understand the everyday challenges of making nutritious choices and balancing a budget. Stop by your local Hannaford or visit us at Hannaford.com to learn more about our commitment to our communities and to take advantage of convenient grocery pickup and delivery options with Hannaford to go. So we really lucked out with the weather. I thought this morning it was gonna be freezing, but it's warming up. Yep. Perfect, perfect day for fly fishing. So. Tom here from Top Notch Fly Fishing. He is going to show us the ropes or the... Yeah, exactly. We'll take go out, do a little bit of casting, and then yeah. get out on the water and see if we can catch a couple fish. And... This area actually is one of the best in New England for fly fishing. Is that right? Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, here locally in town, we have the Androscoggin River, which is uh, both a stocked and wild trout fishery. Um, we also have Clearstream. Uh, we have the Swift and Dead Diamond Rivers just a little bit further north, which is wild brook trout. And you're about 15 to 30 minutes from all the waters, the famous waters of Western Maine. And you have the Connecticut right. River about a half hour to the west. Too. Yeah, you can just hear the water right now. Mm. So, yeah. well, last time you and I, this was season one. I don't think I caught anything. I think you caught like a trash fish. I did. What was it called? It, it, was, a, uh, it was a white <laughs> fish. And it had, remember, you remember the little chunk taken out of it? <laughs> Yeah. No, but it was called a, like it was like a bottom feeder fish. Yeah. Chub, probably. Yes. Yeah, far fall yeah. fish. So yeah. here's to catching more than a bottom feeder yeah. and being successful. Yeah. But first, we got to get all geared up. Yes, we do. All right. All right. Chad and I are geared up, officially ready to be official professional fishermen, fly fishermen. Do we go right down here? Um, we're just going to walk down the trail here a little okay. bit and we'll go right where the rapids uh, meet the bay. Now, is this like particular area popular? A lot of people come here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is a great little uh, easy to find public parking area. Yeah. This stretch of the rapids from the Errol Dam down to Bragg's Bay is what they refer to as the trophy stretch of okay. the Androscoggin River. Uh, fly fishing only and it's very popular for anglers. Why is it called trophy? Am I going to uh, get a trophy? Well, <laughs> they, they manage it under a fly fishing only regulation. And instead of the usual uh, five fish limit in New Hampshire, this is a two fish, okay. slightly larger yeah. size. So the expectation okay. is that you'll catch something bigger here potentially. Okay. Yeah. So one fun fact or interesting to know is that when you do any sort of fishing, 
in New Hampshire, I had to get a one-day license. Yes. You have a license. I have a license. Which was super easy, just went online, got it. So you just always have to make sure that you have the permit and the yep. license to fish, Yeah, right? anybody yeah. over the age of 16 has yeah. to make sure they have a license to fish and that's all you need. New Hampshire. Yep. Okay, yeah. so I'm ready to go. I'm golden. I founded my guide service 10 years ago. I offer both wade and float trips for fly anglers of all skill levels from complete beginners to advanced fishermen. This area, it, um, it's beautiful, uh, scenic, um, fairly remote, and we have really excellent fishing uh, for a variety of species. I concentrate most on trout. Um, we have the Androscoggin River here in Errol uh, that's both a wild and stock trout fishery. Um, we also have numerous wild brook trout fisheries in here. Uh, we also have a number of lakes and ponds in the area. And uh, we also have Umbagog Lake, which is New Hampshire's second largest lake, which is a world-class smallmouth bass fishery. Um, so there's a lot of really great fishing opportunities in uh, the Errol, New Hampshire area. So this time of the year being summertime, the water is a little warmer. It's also a little higher than it normally is. Right. Um, we're probably not going to do much fishing on the surface. Um, so I'm going to rig you up to fish subsurface with some nymphs. Um, we both have identical setups, a dry line. I got your leaders on there and ready to go. So what I'll do is just get you tied up with some flies and okay. get rigged up and I'll get you where I need you to go. And and then we we'll go something. from there, okay. Nice. I've been fishing my whole life. Um, started fly angling when I was pretty young. My dad's a big fly fisherman. He's the one that got me into it. I would say he started me probably before I was eight years old. Um, growing up, I, I fished, you know, everything, flies, gear, bait. Um, but definitely as I got into my teen years, I shifted more to just loving fly fishing. And that's really all I've done since. So just to keep things relatively simple, we'll start out with just a single fly. It's just a little weighted, we call it a pheasant tail nymph. Um, the idea being that that's gonna sink underwater. And just to make life easy and kind of keep track of what we're doing, I'm gonna add a little indicator on here and that's gonna let us track our drift and see if we get a take. You brought a fake fish just in case, right? <laughs> <laughs> So Errol is a great area. Um, it's a great place to base, you know, if you're coming up on a vacation. Um, you know, obviously we have the fisheries, you know, located right here. Um, and then you have LL Cody Sporting Goods right here in town. Um, so if you need anything as far as, you know, equipment, flies, leaders, stuff like that, you know, there's, you've basically got a shop you can shop at here in town. They've also, you know, there's also convenience stores, motels, restaurants here in town, campgrounds locally. So, you know, really whatever kind of accommodations you're looking for. Uh, we have that, you know, and um, great place, you know, just to get set up, have everything you need to get out and do a little fishing. If you're looking to come up to the area and you'd like to try to get out on the water, book a trip, uh, feel free to give my website a look, www.topnotchflyfishing.com. Um, you can also follow me on social media, uh, Instagram, at topnotchflyguy. Um, you know, reach out through phone, email, uh, or uh, direct message through social media, and uh, I'd love to get you out on the water. This could be the moment we've been waiting for it, the chance to feel alive. And I raise my hand to the sky. What a feeling. Time to feel it. This is where it all begins. This is where it all begins. I think music saves kids. I think it can be the reason that they come to school that day is because they have music or because they have their ukulele class or piano class that day. My name is Ray Gilmore. I play the drums. It gives me a place where I can just let my feelings out and it's also helped me with reading and writing which I really struggle with. My name is Sarah Lewis and I'm one of two music teachers here at Josiah Bartlett Elementary School in Bartlett, New Hampshire. My passion is doing modern band stuff, so like rock band stuff. Most of the instruments that we had here were more concert band um, instruments. I wanted to build up the modern band program here and get a bunch more electric instruments. I was trying to brainstorm some different grant funders that we could apply with and Berlin City was one that was mentioned with my colleagues and figured out how to apply. We're so thankful to give back to Josiah Bartlett Elementary School. To learn more or to apply for funding, go to BerlinCity.com.
Hi, my name is Bob Hatem. I'm the Director of Operations with Hannaford Supermarkets. Hannaford has been a part of the community since 1883, and our commitment to people, quality, values still lead us today. Whether you're looking for a part-time job or a long-term career, working at Hannaford is being a part of something much greater than groceries. Together, we're not just feeding families, we're strengthening communities. Visit our link below to learn about job opportunities and joining our team. So Thomas here is going to hook us up with all things floaty. Yep. <laughs> so we've got the northern waters rafting right here and then the river's right there. So it makes it That's super right. easy. Yeah. Yep, very easy, very convenient. Do you have any convenient. tips for us that we should know about? Yeah, we're gonna have a safety speech once okay. we get our okay. all of our equipment on. All right. Um, even though it's a small river, okay. uh, it still can be dangerous. Yes, absolutely. So, um, from here, we're gonna get in the van, go up to the put-in, okay. and have a safety speech. All and right, then we're gonna get goes. in the river. It's a half mile stretch of rapids. Okay. Um, and right. at, we're gonna meet at the bottom, meet our van, and smile under the bridge. Uh, my daughter will be taking photos. Yay. You may make the brochure. Okay. There's no Chad, discount for that. We could make it big. Um, Look seriously, at it. Don't fall this out. could okay. be your moment. Yep. Uh, or this could be your moment. <laughs> right. So. Is this um, a bad time to tell you I can't swim? No, it's okay. <laughs> we have plenty of those. We're but in good luckily, hands. this is a great place for any beginner, anybody who's afraid of the water. Yeah. It's just splashy enough. Yeah, perfect. But still safe. You feel like you're um, doing something. Yeah, definitely. But you're not it's, and it's your great. For, I'm always happy to see little kids come yeah. because it really puts everyone in a good mood when they're having a great time. Yeah, so that'll nice. be us. Yeah, beautiful day. Okay. When we paddle, uh, my commands are all ahead. Mm -hmm. You're going to start paddling at the same time. Slow and steady wins the race mm -hmm. until I start yelling dig, 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 then give it all you've got. Okay. Otherwise, just nice and easy okay. and all together. If we're synced up, it just helps us either save ourselves or get to the hit that we want to, the wave we want to hit. Okay. The second command is take a break mm -hmm. and we'd be holding our T-grip and just paddle up out of the water across your lap. Okay. Um, even if the boat is turning this way or that, um, on a nine day streak of nobody steering the raft for me. So let's keep that streak going yep. <laughs> and um, I'll be happy. Okay, uh, you excited? Time? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Class two. Rock and roll. All right. Ah! Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get <laughs> left out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh. That's oh it. boy. Shot. Yeah. All right, take a break. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. My pants are soaked. Oh, I am. Me too. I know. That's all right, though. It's good. It's what it's meant to be. Yeah. That's why I didn't wear those fur flip-flops. <laughs> right. When I was telling people that we were coming up here and we were coming to your outfitters, they were like, oh, that's that's a great place. So you have a great reputation. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, and it's, it's because of all the people before me. Yeah, uh, how long the, has it been around? Uh, 50 years Jeez. this year. And tell me a little bit about, you know, what you offer for people and, you know, all different levels, I'm assuming. Yeah, we do all class two rafting here and it's it's great because we yeah. can take uh, families, older people, younger people, people who are afraid of the water. It's a yeah. good place to start for them. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Dig in a little bit. Okay. There we go. There we go. This is pancake wave right here. Oh, pancake. Yep. Oh boy. Josh is gonna get slammed. Ah. <laughs> this one, dog. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, keep paddling. Keep paddling. Keep paddling. Fluffy oh. bunny. <laughs> What's it called? Fluffy bunny. Oh, okay. Very fluffy today. Very What's this one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a good one. Nice. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> fluffy Woo. bunny. Fluffy bunny, right after pancake. <laughs> 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 Alright, take a break. 
child is one of our fire marks. Well, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't either. either. I was, yeah. That was awesome. All right, so we're gonna keep on keeping on and uh, hopefully we'll make it through. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> because after this, we're going to the damn house and I really am excited to go eat some of their yummy food. So off we go. Here we go. Certainly love maple syrup but it's the idea that we can work with nature and drill this tiny hole in a tree and end up with something as fantastic as maple syrup. It's just this fascination. My name is Dave Fuller. My wife Patty and I own Fuller Sugar House. We make syrup and we market maple syrup. Our sugar house, this is season 50. Been around it all my life and people say, well, don't you get sick of it? No, it's just, it's what we do. What I like is that it is a product that we can control the quality of. We make sure that our syrup is the best quality that you can get. Fuller Sugar House is made from one single ingredient, the sap of a maple tree. We tap the trees. There's a tubing and pipe network that interconnect it. Bring the sap to the sugar house here in Jefferson, New Hampshire, where we actually produce the syrup. Here it goes into a stainless drum and we concentrate it down to the correct density to be pure maple syrup. As it's needed, it gets taken back to Lancaster where we package, produce candy, cream, sugar from tree to container to consumer. It's that simple. I like living where everybody knows everybody. I was born and raised right in New Hampshire and I'll someday die in New Hampshire because I do love living here. My name is Patty. I am the owner here at the Dam House Cafe. We are a little cafe located inside the Dam House Inn. We opened um, a year ago in July, the Dam House Cafe did. Um, the Dam House has been here for many, many years. It's actually named after the Dam family. They were a family that was pretty beloved in town here. So when we started the cafe and the inn, we decided to keep the name. The inn has four bedrooms that we rent out, and then we have two little cottages. One of them is nestled back on the uh, stream back there, which is really nice, and the other one's behind us here. I started working here three years ago as the property manager, renting out the, um, the different units that we have. And, um, and the owner had, we had talked about opening up a cafe, and I said that's something I've always wanted to do. So he said, you know what, you can rent the place and put it in here. Um, we have breakfast sandwiches and bagels. We do quiche and um, then we make up some sandwiches for lunch as well. Soups that we always make homemade. Um, quick kind of things that you can grab, but we try to use some real wholesome foods and, and as fresh as possible. We do specials. We post them on Instagram and Facebook um, pretty much daily. Uh, we change up the menu a little bit. We always have the breakfast sandwiches and, and those sort of things and the, the staple sandwiches. We do have espresso. We can do lattes and cappuccinos, something a little bit different for the area. The great thing about staying here on the property is that we do have the cafe so you can come in and have breakfast or grab your sandwiches to go, um, but we also are located on the bison farm so the people that are staying here they can actually walk and go through all the trails and see the bison and the elk and the red stag so it's kind of its own package, it's pretty great. And that's for all the, the inn and the cottages. We have a herd of bison, about a hundred now. They are having, they're calving right now, we're pretty much um, bill calf all the way through the end of the summer. I think we have about 30 new babies, which is pretty cool. We give them a little bit of supplemental hay in the winter time, um, but other than that, they have these large fields that they can um, graze off of, and yeah, there's not a lot of handling. So we're out in, how, how many acres are we on right now? 
A thousand. A thousand acres. This is part of the Dam Inn and Cafe, but this is actually under a different name. Rivervale Farm. Rivervale Farm. Yeah. So tell me um, just a little bit about this property and, you know, well, what we hoped to see. We didn't, but well, what lives here? So we have elk, yeah. uh, bison, and red deer. Yeah. You don't see bison too much in New Hampshire. No, and, right? No. There's there's a couple other small farms. Right, and then you you sell bison. We sell yep. meat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very fresh from here. Yes, everything is born and bred here. Mm -hmm. I should probably go home with some today, you right? Should. Shouldn't I? Absolutely. Yes. I obviously should. At least a thousand dollars worth. <laughs> At least a thousand dollars worth. <laughs> so where are they now? They're just like they're in, in the, the woods. woods. They're they're not far. Okay. But we can go for a walk if you'd like to go in with them. They might like you. Okay, you seem to get the vibe <laughs> that they don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we have a really strong gathering of our locals, the people that live in the area, but we get a lot of the traveling traffic. So a lot of the people from Quebec are coming across and on their way to Maine, and this is kind of like a halfway point. Um, a lot of just the regular commuters that are going, because you live in Errol, you usually have to work kind of far away. So a lot of them will stop in and get their coffee or breakfast sandwich on the way. So yeah, it's a, it's a mix. I would say it's probably a third of each. Yeah. It's a great place to grow up. It's an amazing place to raise your family. Um, I grew up right here in town, moved away for a little while, decided I wanted to raise my daughter here. So I moved back to the area. Um, but it's great if you're an outdoors person. There's so many hiking trails and and the fishing and and hiking and hunting. It's just it's a great it's a great area. All right, guys. Well, this is an amazing way to end the day. We had a great day today in Errol. You may not think much of it, but I'm telling you, there is a lot to do, and we did a lot of it today. So follow our itinerary or come up here for yourself. Put it on your list, and we'll see you next week. Oh, there we go. Is it just to make it look like I have hips? <laughs> lift, lift up, don't reel. Oh, I think it was the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. A bottom feeder or just the bottom of the ground? Just the bottom. <laughs> Who goes there? Who goes there? Okay. <laughs> what? That's Nice. And there's a bump in the night. Who's there? Who goes there?